Well, we are eight months into 2020, and I don't think anyone will disagree with me when I say that it's been one heck of a year, and not necessarily in a good way. We've had wildfires, Kobe Bryant died, the recent explosion in Beirut, heightened awareness around racial injustice, which is actually a good thing, and of course, the pandemic, and all that's changed as a result of that. While at any given time, every one of us is dealing with worries and stressors, 2020 seems to be particularly fraught with them like trying to keep family and loved ones safe and protected from COVID-19. Concerns about job security and making ends meet, feeling isolated. Worries about the safety of people we care for. Wondering how to support others in need and how to take action in our own communities. Helping kids and others understand what the heck is going on in the world and so much more. Let's face it, it's been an overwhelming year and all of us could use some support. That's where an Employee Assistance Program, or EAP, can be really helpful. An EAP is a service that helps employees and their family members manage any personal issue that is or could get in the way of work. And I think all the twists and turns that 2020 has thrown at us definitely count. Even if you don't provide an EAP to your employees, hopefully you're aware of local resources like private counselors or community behavioral health centers that you can refer employees to if they need some support. But just as you had to remind your employees about these services before 2020 started, it's even more important that you keep reminding them and ourselves now. And we know that even people who want help, they can be hesitant to ask for it. Some of us feel so overwhelmed that we don't even know what we need and others might know what they need but not know where to go to get those needs met. So here are five things we want to share with you to help you encourage your employees and their family members to reach out. Number one, routinely share your EAP contact information, including any website login information. If people have to search for it, they're less likely to use it. You could send out a monthly reminder uh, or mention the information at a regularly scheduled meeting or just send out a random email. Number two, tell them the specific things your EAP can help with. It's not just about counseling. EAPs can help with money issues like budgeting and talking with creditors and help finding child or elder care and just general support for all those issues we're all facing right now. Number three, share your personal experiences with the EAP or invite employees to share their stories so everyone has a better understanding of what to expect. Number four, be sure to pass along any informational tips and resources that the EAP sends your way, like newsletters and brochures. And most importantly, number five, help take away the stigma of reaching out for assistance. It's not a sign of weakness or a last resort or a desperate act. It's a smart use of resources and a way to stay healthy and productive, not just now, but in the long run. In the meantime, remember, we will get through 2020, likely coming out of this stronger and smarter than we were before. But until then, hang in there and encourage your employees and yourselves to use resources like your EAP to help.